Hey, this is Tyler Disney with Integral Group Oakland. In this video, I'm going to show how to edit tags. So let's say you've got a tag and you want to have it say something else. Um, select the tag, hit edit family. And the way it works in uh, tags is that the text is what's called a label. You can see it's a label over here. Um, go into the edit next to label. And this is where you can choose which parameters show up in the list. So now we've got size and system type, but we could add some other stuff. So maybe we want bottom of elevation to go in there. Maybe we want flow to go in there. And uh, I don't know, maybe we're interested in the, in the length, whatever. So, um, so now those are all added in there. And note that they just kind of tack onto that. We can kind of control how they show up in here. So, uh, for example, we could break these. So after the system type, I want to break, and I want a new line for each one of those. Then I can add a prefix. So maybe I'm going to say bod uh, flow and length. Boom. And then let's load that into the project. And I've got all this stuff going for me now. So that's just a really quick way of, you know, I want some more information out of this tag. How do I do that? So same thing uh, you could do with a piece of mechanical equipment. Um, just open this guy up. And, you know, so these are two separate labels. I'm going to pick this label, edit, and I could add in here. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new label that floats off to the side. And I'm going to edit it. I'm going to make that be the comments. This is a sample comment. And I want that to be horizontal aligned left. And get it situated. There, that looks good. So load that guy into the project. And now, if I add a comment to this, um, going to show up on this guy. So uh, so that's how that works, uh, just adding and changing labels. Um, now there's another thing uh, that's really useful to know in terms of editing tags, and that's if you want different types where this, this symbol changes, these lines change. So I'm going to show how to do that real quick. So go back into Edit Family. And let's say for some instances we want this hex, and that's good. And for some instances we want a circle. Now the way you do this is you create a parameter that controls the visibility of this stuff. So I'm going to select my circle. And next to the visible row over here, there's a tiny little button that's not labeled with anything. Click it. And now I can set a parameter. Uh, and I need to make it a yes, no parameter. Oh, it's, it's a automatically yes, no parameter. So that's good. And I want it to be uh, instance. We'll make it easy. An instance, no, take it back. We'll do type. And that's fine. And then I'm going to pick the lines that make up this hex. Same thing, I'm going to say visible at parameter hex type. OK. And then I'm going to create another uh, family type for this guy. So I'm going to click family types. Right now I've got hex type mark plus mark, which is fine. Um, but I want the circles to be off and the hex to be on. I'm going to create a new family type, and I'm going to call it circle type mark plus mark. And this one is going to be circles on hexes off. And right, let's load this into the project. All right. Cool. So now select this guy. It's in circle mode. Obviously did that wrong. Oh, um, hex. There we go. I just got that messed up. So I need to, so what I just did is I went into edit type here, and I can set what the uh, parameters are supposed to be. So for the hex type, 
needs to be hexon circle off the circle. It's that way. So there we go. And that's really powerful uh, skill technique to be able to control the visibility of elements within a family. That works for everything in any family. You can select anything and control the visibility of it with a yes/no parameter. All right, that's it. Thanks.